Hello, Bryson here. Today I'm going to be showing you this really cool trick. First, I'm just going to shuffle these cards. And if you're wondering, yes, I can shuffle them the good way, like this, but I just don't feel like it right now. Like that. Here, do you want me to do it like this? Here, I'll do it like this. And then, so I'm actually just going to overhand shuffle some cards just like this. So you don't know how to overhand shuffle. You just take the deck and grab it into your other hand, grab it into your hand, and then drop some cards just like this. Okay, so now I'll let the cards are overhand shuffled. Um, so the thing I'm videoing on is about to lose all its battery, so I'm just going to go straight to the tutorial. So here's the tutorial. Get a little set up here. Uh, 13 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So here are the 13 cards you should have in your setup. Well, you don't need these specific cards, but I'm just going to use these um, to show you what you need. So first, you'll take two black kings, see, black kings, put them down in two different piles, then take two red queens, you don't have to use these specific cards, but I'm just showing you what you should do, put them in different piles, then you'll take two red tens, here's a red ten, putting it in a pile, here's another red ten, putting it in the other pile, then take two red kings here's one red king and here's the other red king um then you take two red jacks here's a red jack here's a red jack put those in two different piles then you take two black aces here's the black ace here's the black ace put those in separate piles then you just take a random card from your deck like, I'm just going to take this card here, the Six of Diamonds, which is actually what I had before, and when I actually showed my, my adults, the people that live in my house. Ever. Then you take this card, and you put it down here on this stack, really on any stack, but I always just put it on that stack. And then you take these cards, plop them up there. Then you grab these and plop them onto the decks so that you have your 13 cards set up. Um, and then you can, I'm just going to go right into it. So overhand shuffle some of the cards just like this so that your audience are satisfied. And then make sure when you get to your 13 cards or more you just plop those back on top of the deck and then you can do it until your audience is satisfied um and then you'll take your deck and put six cards down see one two three four five and six so you have your six cards down right then You'll ask them yes or no. If they say yes, well, first let's go with no. If they say no, you just take the top card, push it back. But if they say yes, then this is what you'll do. You'll push back with your thumb and use your other hand, bring it over the deck like this, and pull this card forward. But since I'm just showing you how, I'm going to do it not like this, but like this. So that you'll take the top card, push it back with your thumb, then you'll take your thumb and push this card forward. And then you'll put it on top and push forward. Then no. No, you just take the top card, nothing special, like this, and then push it back. No. Top card, push back. No. Top card, push back. No. Top card, push back. No. Then, yes again. Um, you pull your thumb back with your thumb pushing down. 
you bring your hand over, you would put it like this, pull the card forward, but instead, uh, since I'm showing you, I'm gonna do it like this again. So you take your thumb, push it back, take your other thumb, push forward on that card, and push forward. So now you show them the cards they said no to first. They're not gonna match, see? No matches here. No matches here. And, wait, sorry about this. No matches here. No matches here, right? And then, the cards they said yes to, they will match, see? Two black aces and two black kings. So that was the trick. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you have any questions, comment down below, and I'll see you next time.